Peter explained his group's method for finding the height of a church. We made a clinometer from a protractor, a pen tube, some tread and a weight. We measured the distance from here to the church and it was 92 metres. We made sure the ground was flat, then we used the clinometer to look up at the top of the spire of the church. The weight had moved from 90 degrees to 65 degrees, so we knew that the angle up was 25 degrees. So, if the clinometer is horizontal, then the weight will hang at the 90 degree mark, which is here. But if we raise this clinometer through an angle of 25 degrees, then the weight will drop down to 65 degrees. That's 90 minus 25. So the angle of elevation here um, for a sighting to the top of this church is 25 degrees, the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal. We worked out the height from that, but we had to remember to add on my height of 1.8 metres at the end. On the diagram below show the measurements that Peter's group made. By the way, this here is a, a right angle, because this is the horizontal, and we assume, of course, that the church is vertical. So we can just use some basic uh, right angle trigonometry here to uh, find the height of the church. I will call the, dis dis the distance from here to here x. Of course the distance from here to here is the height of Peter. Um, so we just have to add on 1.8 at the end. Anyway, let's look at this right angle triangle. The side opposite 25 degrees is what we're looking for, it's x. The side adjacent to 25 degrees is 92. So we need the ratio that brings in what we're looking for x and what we're given, which is 92. Um, that ratio is tan. Tan at 25 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So how do we find x from this? Well, we just multiply both sides by 92. That's the tan of 25, multiply this by 92. So I'll write this down to one decimal place, 42.9. And this is in meters. So the height of the church then, is just got by adding 1.8 onto 42.9. So we get 44.7. Hannah was in a different group from Peter. She explained her group's method for finding the height of the church. It was really sunny and we used the shadows cast by the sun. Amy stood with her back to the sun and we used a tape measure to measure Amy's shadow along the ground from the tips of her toes to the top of her shadow's head. We also measured Amy's height and recorded the results in the table. Then we recorded the length of the shadow cast by the church. We measured along the ground from the base of the church out to the end of its shadow and recorded this measurement. So we have the lengths of Amy's shadow, we have Amy's height, and the church's shadow. Show how Hannah's group used their results to calculate the height of the church. So here is Amy, here is the length of her shadow, it's two meters long. So the sun's rays are coming along here. Um, sun is somewhere here. We have Amy's height, it's 1.7 meters. Of course, on a much bigger scale, we have the shadow cast by the church. The church's shadow is 69.4 meters. So here's the sun's rays, or one of the sun's rays. So I've covered this in another video and I explained that because the sun is so far away these rays are parallel so these two triangles are similar triangles. So that means that this angle here is equal to this angle here. So I call this angle A. This is A also. So what we need here is the height of the church which I'll call X. So this is ground level here. Um, we can calculate A from this triangle. We have enough information, we have two sides of it. 
the tan of A is opposite over adjacent. The side opposite A is 1.7, the side adjacent A is 2. So we have 1.7 divided by 2, that's the tan of A. Let's get the inverse tan. It's 40.36 degrees. Okay, so now that we have this angle, we can find X. So tan of 40.36 is X divided by 69.4. As a matter of fact, we don't have to work out the tan because the tan of A is given by this 1.7 over 2. So basically, you know, um, the ratio of this side to this side of this triangle is the same as the ratio of this side to this side here. So 1.7 over 2 is equal to x over 69.4. So we can um, just solve this here just by cross multiplying. So 2 times x equals 69.4 times 1.7. 117.98. And we can get x then, just divide by 2. The church is actually 50 meters high. Calculate the percentage error in each group's results. So I'll go back to the first result that we got for the height, 44.7 meters. So to get the error for the first result, we um, get the difference between the true value for the height and the measured value, which is 44.7. To get the percentage error, we divide the error by the true value. So we, comp we compare the error to the true value. Um, this will give the error as a fraction of the true value. And to turn this fraction into a percentage, we multiply by 100. So we have 50 minus 44.7. And we have to divide this by 50 and multiply by 100. So the error um, is 10.6%. And then we just do the same for this calculation here, for this value here. If we do the subtraction here, we get a negative value, but you know, we just normally take magnitudes here. So we get the magnitude of this quantity, so it'll be positive. Anyway, we'll end up with an error of 17.98%. So the second measurement is too big, and the first measurement is too small. But the first measurement is the better measurement, because the error is only 10.6%.